Hello and welcome to this, uh, our day one summary of the uh, first day's proceedings at the INMO's 97th Annual Delegate Conference. We're here in the centre in the Glen Eagle Hotel in Killarney and it's Wednesday the 4th of May. Today we saw almost 350 delegates uh, uh, from branches and sections all over the country, all areas of the health service, gather to begin debate uh, uh, the conference proceedings and the very important issues that are dominating nursing and military at this time. The day began with a press conference where we clearly outlined the central themes of pay, recruitment and retention, working hours uh, and a whole area of uh, staffing levels and, and, and bed shortages and so on and overcrowding that's bedeviling our health service. We then had a private organisational session where the finances of the organisation, all of those things were debated. And we then moved into open session where we had a number of motions under the broad headings of education and social policy. The education section began with a full briefing from my colleague Elizabeth Adams on all the work that we have done under the Professional Development Centre for the last year. Uh, the education motions also spoke about the need to have protected time to meet with our competency assurance requirements that are going to be laid down by the board, the role of the employer in having to be a partner in delivering that. It can't fall on every nurse or midwife to, to find their own time in their own time. Everyone benefits from a proficient nurse or midwife. Employers have a role to play. We then moved into social policy. Uh, and that was discussing a number of issues. We got a briefing from my colleague Edward Matthews about what we're doing in social policy, the miscellaneous number of non-governmental agencies we're working with, and also the work we're doing on fitness of practice. And the costs are rising for members on an increasing basis for having to respond when they are referred, even when they've done no wrong to fitness of practice. Very thorough briefing. Uh, we then had, uh, had motions, one of which called for a minister, a full-time minister, to be appointed for care of the older person, a responsibility for implementing the care of the older person strategy. Very, very good debate on that. And then the final part of the day was spent discussing, debating, and then ultimately adopting a position statement on the role of the healthcare assistant. We want to set out quite clearly to our members what their responsibilities are, the educational standardization that has to be followed for the HCA, the role of the nurse and midwife in that educational pathway, the role of the nurse and midwife in ensuring that when they delegate, they delegate safely and securely, both in their own registration interests, but also to optimise patient outcome. Very long debate then followed about the whole skill mix issue and so on, which was very, very enlightening. So that tomorrow then we get into uh, other hard issues in terms of pay, recruitment, retention, working hours. We have a, a big debate on adopting a, a, a policy towards public health services as a whole. So crowded day tomorrow, but a crowded day to today. I think a very good start to conference, but a dynamic start to conference. So please watch in for future uh, summaries uh, tomorrow and Friday as we uh, outline the proceedings. Uh, so thank you for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.